Well, I wanted to do a year of the artist project, which involved me getting a residency in some institution or somewhere that would want a poet in residence. And because of my background, my health background, I wanted to work in neurology. And then I woke up Sunday morning, 30th of July, 9.44. God knows why I know that, what I do. Went downstairs, decided to do a Sunday roast. Started to wash a chicken. And it all went weird. <laughs> Extremely fucking weird. So I was on my own in the house. And I um, found an ambulance, as you do when things go weird. Opened the front door, lay on the floor, and waited for the boys... And I had rather a nasty brain hemorrhage, a bit of brain surgery, a bit of paralysis. <laughs> ended, up, ended up as a real resident, a resident resident, poet resident, yeah, patient. Yeah, so I thought it'd be right smart to work with film. Poetry is aural visualisation, you know, and film is silent word. It was poetry through the whole duration of my hospital experience. But the poetry, the core of it is definitely, a, well, obviously, a Southland's thing, yeah. Is it important to you to write? Yeah. What happens if you don't? I get narky and full up. When I'm not writing, it's when I start asking myself those questions of, like, where am I going? Why am I here? Where's... At, you know, what's the point of my existence, all that sort of stuff. When I'm writing, then I know. Fact. Fact. Hard backed. Inevitable as the gas bill land on life. Lumps found in showers. A slow puncture that sucks like alcohol, aches like regret. Doesn't waste its breath on maybe, perhaps, if it is. Is real, a ripe man peeled, planted in a scream.